And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our footwork on a force play. We're gonna work on uh, footwork on tags and glove position. Where do we want to tag and how do we want to stand? Uh, and then we also are gonna, we're gonna pick off of that. Um, so we have three different bases set up, but I'm gonna demonstrate here. We got Alex here who happens to be a first baseman, which is, which is good. Everybody, I think, on the team in the infield needs to have um, the skill to, to, to get a force play. The force play is just getting one out at a time. And so whether you're covering first, home, second, third, sometimes our pitchers get have to get off, get out of the circle and go cover third, and they got to get one out. And so we're going to talk about force play receiving with the bag. All right, so Alex is going to come up. She's going to receive the ball from here in the middle. She wants to make sure that she's in a position. Um, let's go ahead and get turned to this corner here. Uh, we'll pretend this is the baseline. She's gonna start in a nice neutral position like she was, all right? She's, she's ready for everything. She's athletic, she's in her legs. She's waiting for information. Where's that ball coming from, all right? And when that happens, we'll pretend it's coming right from me. So what she's gonna do is, now she's gonna start to switch her feet to find that corner. So go ahead and switch your feet. Go back again. She's right, nice and neutral, trying to get information. And when she gets it, boom, she goes to there, all right? You see, she just, she just shifts her feet a little bit to find that inside corner. That corner, the job of the person and the force play receiver is to find the closest corner to where the ball is coming from. Well, if we can gain a centimeter, a fraction of an inch, or a millimeter, that could be the difference between safe and out. So go ahead and go again. So I'm going to just toss a nice a ball at you. There we go. All right. We're gonna demonstrate the secondary play now. She, now Alex is gonna hop off the bag. She's gonna receive it, hop off, and get into two position to throw. Okay, do it again. Goes out and sticks it and gets her feet ready to go. So now we're gonna have our tossers. Now all three of the bases are gonna go on. We're gonna go force play receiving. Let's get two apiece. And let's work on force play receiving and hopping off and get into a secondary throwing position. Okay. All right, here we go. Just keep it nice and simple, kind of keep a flow going here. Step to the ball. Good. Looks like I got a bad throw here. Our job is to kind of mix it up, throw it left, throw it right, get them to come off. Whew. Here we go. Try to get catch that above our left or our glove side foot. A little easier for the lefties. Good. Making sure we get that out. All right. Let's hold it up a second. All right. Andy's going to stay here. So now we're going to work picks off of that. Everybody's got to learn how to pick the ball out of the dirt. Um, I think it's a necessary skill to stop ball. If we can get the out, that's our primary goal. But if we can't pick it clean, if we have to leave the base, or we can't pick it clean, we want to make sure we stop the ball. So some, sometimes that means we have to get our chest in, in, on top of the ball. All right, so now we're going to do the same kind of format. Now we're going to throw a couple in the dirt. They're going to pick, or they got to stay um, on, their, um, on their feet because the ball stays in the air. So they got to read speed and direction off the, the thrower's um, release point. Here we go. Pick it out. There you go. Keeping that nose to the ball. Keeping that nose to the ball. There we go. Is it in the air? Is it in the dirt? Watching that release point. There you go. Keep it down front. Barehanded. Good job, Alex. There we go. Good. 